VST plugins are the most powerful tool we have for enhancing our audio. Today I'm going to show you how to set up VST plugins within Voice Meter by utilizing Voice Meter's patch inserts and a VST hosting application called Lighthost. Voice Meter is a pretty cool virtual mixing tool. However, it's not the best at editing and manipulating audio. And the biggest reason for this is because of its lack of VST support. VST stands for Virtual Studio Technology. VST plugins are developed all over the world for all kinds of different use case scenarios. You can get VST plugins for musical instruments, for vocal mixes, or even for audio track mixes when you're developing music. Today, we're gonna use Voice Meter's patch inserts to patch in a VST hosting application called Lighthost in order to use VST plugins on our microphone. Lighthost is a VST host that will use this virtual studio technology directly in our dock window on Windows. This is a very lightweight application and it is particularly perfect for this sort of setup. This setup is mostly used for, for those of you that don't wanna deal with a more advanced VST hosting application or an audio processing object like Equalizer APO and would rather utilize everything within Voice Meter. In order to do this, we need the Lighthost application and some VST plugins to use with it. In the description below, I've linked not only Lighthost, but also some free VST plugins that you can utilize. Directly above the description, there's a like button and a subscribe button to this channel. If you enjoy content like this, make sure you like and subscribe. If you're an audiophile, if you're a streamer or a video creator and you're looking for ways to up your content, this channel is for you. We do everything from basic stream setups all the way to complex audio solutions. So make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on all the content that we create. Once you have Lighthost and the VST plugins that you want to utilize downloaded, we're going to go over to our desktop and start setting this up. All right, so the first thing we want to do is make sure we have our patch inserts set up on Voice Meter. So if we go over to the menu on Voice Meter and go down to System Settings, in the System Settings window, we have the patch inserts all the way down at the bottom. We want to select the patch inserts that our microphone device is set up on. So these first five here on the left of the patch inserts window are the hardware inputs on Voice Meter Potato. So you most likely have your microphone on hardware input one, but if you have your microphone set up on one of the other hardware inputs, make sure you do the correct hardware input. In my case, it's hardware input one because I have my microphone set up on that input. So I wanna make sure I turn these on. All you need to do is left click on both of those. You wanna make sure you click on the left and the right because you wanna have both the left and right audio. You don't want just one. Uh, so make sure you turn on both of those. After you have your patch inserts set up, we're ready to open Lighthost and get setting up our VST plugins. In order to open Lighthost, you need to access that download that you downloaded earlier and make sure you run the application. It's most likely safe to go ahead and run this as an administrator. Once you run it, it's not actually going to do anything visually. It's going to run Lighthost in the dock window down here. In order to access Lighthost, what we need to do is left click it. And the first thing we need to do is make sure we upload all the available plugins that we have on our computer. So the way we do that is by going to edit plugins. From this available plugins window, we can click options and we can scan for new VST plugins and VST3 plugins. So make sure you do both of those. Once you've done that, you'll have all of your available plugins listed here in this window. After we have the plugins uploaded, we can go back into Lighthost and go over to Preferences. In the Preferences window, we wanna make sure we change that audio device type over from Windows Audio to ASIO. Once it's on ASIO, we need to select the device if you're on Voice Meter Potato, it will be the Voice Meter Potato Insert Virtual ASIO. If you're using Voice Meter Banana, it will be the Voice Meter Insert Virtual ASIO. So make sure you select the correct device. 
And if you want to go a step further, you can deactivate all of the input channels that you are not going to use. In my case, it would be everything from input number two and down because my microphone is on input number one. If after setting this up, your microphone has some robotic-y or static-y kinds of sounds, you can go ahead and reset the device by clicking this button here. After initializing Lighthost, you might notice that the microphone is only being picked up on the left channel. In order to correct that within voice meter, all you need to do is toggle the mono button. After you've done that, we can go ahead and start setting up the VST plugins that we want on our microphone. So in order to do that, what we need to do is again, open Lighthost. We can go into the available plugins. Um, if we want to add anything in, say we want to add in an EQ from the Reaper plugins, we can do so from this window here and adding a Rhea EQ. After it's active, what we can do is go into the active plugins and edit that plugin. You'll notice that unlike Equalizer APO, you actually have a live feed of the audio that's being fed into voice meter. And this will give you a lot more control or increase a lot of your abilities when editing or mixing your audio. Same thing with any of these plugins that you choose to use. If I wanted to set up the reaffer plugin, I can again go into Lighthost edit the reaffer plugin and I can make some adjustments to this plugin uh, directly with the live feed here. Um, for those of you that don't know what this plugin is, we've done a video on it in the past. It is, it is a little bit wonky. It's not the most ideal uh, usage of removing noise, but it is a tool that can remove uh, a lot of airy kind of noise from your mix and you can do it automatically. Uh, from this window here. Last thing I want to mention guys is if you happen to load in a plugin into Lighthost and Lighthost isn't accepting that plugin, it will most likely just shut down over and over again when you try to run Lighthost. And the way you fix that is by clearing out the app data. Um, so what we need to do is in the Windows search bar down here, we can go to run, not runescape, and what we can do is run this command here, which is percentage app data percentage slash light host. And what this will do is open the app data for light host. And what you can do is just delete out these light host settings. That way you can open light host and reinitialize. Just make sure you don't use the plugin or whatever you use that caused light host to shut down in the first place. I do want to mention that you don't have to use VST plugins just on your microphone alone. You can use VST plugins on any of the audio sources that you set up within voice meter. This is a perfect time for me to suggest that you watch my voice meter setup guides. If you haven't done it yet, I will link them in the description below. I will also put a timestamp here to my favorite voice meter tutorial that I've done yet. It will explain all of voice meter, explain how you set up the inputs and the outputs and all of that jazz. So make sure you watch that video. I also want to direct you to another video if you're interested in more in-depth setup of VST plugins with an application called Equalizer APO for your microphone. Go ahead and check out the video I have linked in the description below. And I'll also put a timestamp for that video right here as well if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this if you're a streamer video creator or you're just an audiophile looking for some cool tricks we do all kinds of different stuff here so if you're looking to up your game make sure you subscribe to this channel i want to give a thank you to all my patreon pledgers that pledge every single month to help support the content that i create if you're interested in supporting this content as well make sure you check out that patreon link in the description below if after watching this video you still need some help with the setup that we discussed in the video feel free to reach out to my staff team within my discord or builded servers or you can tweet at me on twitter at the francois with that being said i want to thank you so much for watching this video and i will catch you next time peace